Hey guys, how's it going? Figured I'd do another update on this 4910 I'm, I'm doing. There's the exhaust port. Um, like I said, when you... <clears throat> it feels like I got something stuck in my throat. But, uh, looking for a longer pointer. Guess I'll grab one of these. When you guys uh, cut these out, um, I set this one at 102. I tip my bit up on an angle after I mark it out with a ring where I want it. And I will come in here and I will set the, the depth of the port first and then I roll it into this one. Because um, otherwise, if you do not, you will smoke the cylinder because there's not enough room or that air fin is in there and you'll run into daylight. I've done it, but um, that's the best best way that I, I can describe it so you guys don't do what I've done on past cylinders. Um, you will get a few scratches up in here from tipping the, you know, the grinder up because the chuck will rub on it here, but that gasket seals this. I've, I've never had one leak. Um, and for you guys that wonder how I get that port to look like that um i use these blue bits the ones that come in the blue blue thing they're their dental grade that's the shape i i use to to do that whole port and then i will switch it up to like these uh sandpaper rolls and then I use a quarter inch air grinder. All this was was a long quarter inch carbide that I put a notch in. I can slide emery cloth in here, different grits. I currently only have 60 grits, so it takes a little bit more elbow grease to get them looking good. But uh, then I can use the emery cloth twirling around on this to get the, you know, to smooth out all the, the carbide marks and then um i got that kind of tootsie roll a little bit finer one on it that i took it down and then i use well, this is a i get these for my buddy he runs an auto shop they're scuffy pads for scuffing up primer you can get them in red and gray um the red one's a little coarser i'll use that first and then i'll jump over to the gray and then uh, after a few dry runs, then I'll soak these with some sort of penetrating lubricant. And I'll go in there and get close. And that'll leave, I mean, most of you guys would probably be satisfied with just this, uh, what this turns out. It looks really, really good. But then I use just, uh, you know, cotton or whatever this is. And that clay bar, along with WD-40. And then I, I buff them up like that. So that's how I, that's how I get them. Oh, this has already been decked. I had to cut almost 50 thousandths off this one. But uh, intake's done. That's just 60 grit finish. And then uh, if I feel it's a little bit too rough, I'll just twirl a dry, dry one of these around in there for a couple seconds. I still got a, all I got left to do on this now is raise the, Transfers, I got to deburr everything, double check everything, make sure it's where I want it, and then I get asked periodically what I, I clean up the um, cylinders with, and it's just an air drill with a wire brush that I stick them gray scuffy pads on, or red ones. I, I like the grays in the cylinder. It, um, I'll come back and show you the what the cylinder looks like when I'm when I'm done with it, but they they work good. That wire brush acts like a piece of velcro you just stick it on there and um i do run them down dry but um i feel it does a better job than like the little dingleberry ball hones but it's it's nice because it falls into the into the ports and it, it just you know i'll still sandpaper and and i used i don't know where it's floating up here somewhere i used you know 
them type and then I got round stones that I go in and put the you know a chamfer back in and then I'll go over it with sandpaper but that's that's what I do um, I don't hide nothing I you know I try to you know show everything that I do to these things um, this saw should make five and a half horse easy um, probably a scooch more um, but as I get further along I'll, I'll show you um, you guys have a good one